Hey, hey, what is up? This is Freed's first time. My name is Freed, and today we're hitting on day three of our whiskey advent calendar. Just a friendly reminder, well, to subscribe, of course, but another friendly reminder, there is a full list of all the potential whiskeys in this advent calendar down there in the description. It's a Google Doc. Just click it, open it up, listen to my nosing and tasting notes, check out that list and see if you too can pick what whiskey is in the glass. Could be fun. We're one for one so far, and you know what? I'll take that. I'm, I'm very happy with that. A 50% win rate, I'll take it. All right, I got Glen Fry here. I got the bottles ready to, ooh, that looks dark. And three. Just get this ball rolling. That's a full one too, my land. Drip, drip, glug, glug. Hey, how much does a rainbow weigh? Not much, it's pretty light. <laughs> that was stupid. All right, I've got my list here. Hopefully you have your list there. Uh, I have been given some feedback that I need to maybe give you all a little bit more time to come to a conclusion, and I think I need to try to be a little bit more descriptive with my tasting and nosing notes, which I will do my best to do. It's difficult to just come up with these things on the fly, especially with a camera on you. Have you ever tried that before? It's, it's not easy. I mean, just getting comfortable with a camera on you is one thing, but anyway, what the hell? Nobody gives a shit about that, man. Okay, so let's take this uh, on the whiff and see what we get. That's dark, dude. Well, darker. So I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking yet, so I'm going to give him a little swirling. Bourbon, for sure. Okay. So, it's, it's American. It's, it's a bourbon. Okay. So, look at the bourbons, and then we'll be, well, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't want to get ahead of myself. That's what I think I've done. The past two videos too, I jumped to a conclusion way too quickly. I didn't analyze it too much. I think I'm a little too preoccupied with making the videos concise. I'm not I'm doing it at the expense of, uh, you know, properly tasting these things. Everything's hitting me like a bourbon one. I'm getting sweet vanilla caramels with just wrapped in oak. Mmm. Yeah, vanilla pods. It's got a bit of a, a burn. It's got a bit of a woo. It's got a bit. <laughs> got me. I think I put a little too much in my old, in my beak. Yeah, it got up in there and uh, loved me strong and burned. So on the nose, it seems like it's got a high ABV. Some it's your typical bourbon nose. You got your cherries in there and some cinnamon. Nothing really standing out to me just yet. It's beautiful though. I like it. I like the, the high ABV of it. That little bit of fire underneath everything, the spice. Hmm. Speaking of spice, I'm getting some like cloves. Yeah, absolutely some cloves. Nice, nutmeg. Yeah! Oh man, this is a good nose. It's kind of it's kind of just unfolding. Sweet, man. All right, well, I'm gonna put it in my mouth. Oh, oh. <laughs> Shit, I just, man, dude, you need to think before you speak. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna drink this now. Come back. She's hot. She's hot. I think I know what see I was gonna say I think I know what this is. But I mean I only have one barrel proof American whiskey. And that's that's high. This is higher than 50%. Or even 50 and a half. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump the gun. I'm gonna go in for another another snort here. 
<laughs> it's spicy, baby. I like it. It tastes very familiar. Very familiar. Sorry, I haven't given you any tasty notes whatsoever. It's hot. It's it's up there in the ABV. It's definitely got to be above 50%. It has to be. Um, a lot of wood. I mean, just like a mountain of wood. Um, and then your your other kind of like stewed fruits, cherry, cinnamon, vanilla, caramel, red apple. It's a very turkey turkey palate, if you ask me. Sweet. Boy, sweet. So that takes some of them off the table for me because they don't really have the sweetness that I'm getting here. Makers doesn't have that sweetness. Trace, Buffalo Trace doesn't have that sweetness. Um, Makers doesn't have that sweetness for me. Woodford does, but it's too, it's 43.2%, dude. There's no way it's Woodford. That's This is hot. This is spashy. Ah, man, it's numbing in the best way. Okay, so with what I've said, I've obviously made a, a very big point to let you know that it's it's a decently uh, stout ABV. And I'm getting typical bourbon notes, but they're solid, dude. They're really good. So with what I've said, what's your guess? I know I have a guess. I'm thinking a rare breed. And um, considering that's the only barrel proof bourbon that I have in my collection, as you can see on this list, then that's got to be it. Unless I'm just ABV blind at the moment, which I never really was ABV 2020. <laughs> you know, I've, I've never been the best at that, but I'm, I'm going to go in again. This is, I don't want to, don't rush it, don't rush it. See, it's hot up front, but whereas some, like the 45, 46s, even 50s will kind of dissipate over time, this thing stays and tingles for a little bit longer, hence why I'm leaning more towards the rare breed. And that's where I'm gonna, mm, water? No, I'm not going to. So that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go wild turkey rare breed. What do you think? Four. Three, two, one. Here we go, number three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha ha! Mmm, nice. That wasn't that hard though, because I love wild turkey products, so that that was a uh, that was a fish in a barrel a little bit. I would have been pretty upset if I got it wrong. So yeah, nice, nice, nice. It was the ABV that gave it away, dude, I'm telling you. If it was any other one, I probably would have gotten it wrong. So thanks, science, that the ABV on this one is up there to make it recognizable. Hell yeah. All right, so we got two Americans and a, and a Scotch thus far. And cool, did you get it right? Were you right, were you wrong? What did you pick? Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Like it, subscribe to it, and Ming Tian Jian. See you tomorrow.